Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to another review video. We've had a few of these recently, and as you can see, we, we have a new background because, I mean, I, I really have no good place to show off games that need to go on the table. So I figured, you know what, I'll just make my own backdrop. So there we go. It's t today, boys. Right, today. Today's a very cool day. <laughs> Let me tell you why. As you can see, we have the Survive Till 6 AM game. I have been waiting to unbox this and look at it for a few days now, and I am very excited to see what it's all about. Of course, boys, I've got the knife. I don't know if I'm going to be playing it in today's video. I really just want to get a overall look at it, see what the game is all about, because I've seen a few people play it, and I still don't really know exactly how to play, so maybe we'll play it in today's video, but maybe not. So if you guys are ready for Freddy, smash the like button, and let's open this thing. Okay, so I have opened it, but first, I want to take a look at this box, because honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. I do have a few critiques, though, um, mainly these renders. We have seen these renders for so, so long at this point. I wish we had new renders for the characters, but honestly, that's kind of where my critiques stop. I mean, the back looks pretty good. The sides look pretty good. And I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so it's basically all the sides are the same. Um, I just wish we got new renders for these guys. You know, like we've seen these renders on so many different pieces of merch. I, I would love to see new ones. But anyways, let's open it. Oh, ooh, look at this. I didn't, I didn't even know that this was here. This looks so good, dude. Oh, that's so cool. I'm honestly impressed with the instructions manual. It looks, it looks so cool. Honestly, I really, really love this and it's so stupid to like something like the instructions manual, but I fucking love it. The box on the inside looks pretty good too. It's got a bunch of balloons and confetti on it. And of course it looks like, yep. That's the board. Inside the box, we can see everything we need in order to play. Again, I don't really know how the game works still, even though I've seen so many people play through it. Um, so I don't think I'll be playing it in today's video. That'll probably be a separate video. So let's just take a look at everything inside. So we have our cards here. We have the start and we have 12 a.m., 12.30, 1, uh, 1.30, 2, 2.30, 3, 3.30, 4, 4.30, 5, 5.30. Um, Six. We also have the dice right here. So as you can see, they've got 10 and they've got five. And I'm pretty sure, oh, there's a blank too. And yep, the second one is the same thing. We got five, then we have 10 and blank. We then have the pie charts, the things to keep track of your power. Yeah, for player one and player two. Honestly, I mean, this is pretty easy to operate. Look at that. You just spin it and you have a different percent power. Starting off with 100, going down all the way past 50, past 30s, until you have 0%. And then we have these reference cards, which I guess I gotta open up. Okay, wow. There are a lot of cards here. I don't think I'm gonna go through every single one. So we have a camera monitor card here. We flip it over. Oh, we've used 5%. That's not very poggers. Now it looks like at some points you will get a what was that card. Now something I love about these cards is that if you look closely, I don't think you're gonna be able to see. Oh, you can kind of see. You can actually see, you can see Chica up there. I love that attention to detail. Same thing with this one. You can see Bonnie in the shadows. And sometimes you'll just be looking into a party room. Pretty nice. And you do have the cards for Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Balloon Boy, and another party room. That's great, I forgot to take that one out of the pile. Now, again, I have the same issue with on the cover. I believe most of these are windows that we've seen before. I'm pretty sure Toy Freddy might be new. Um, maybe even Toy Bonnie, but you know, my only nitpick so far is that I want different renders, but that's really nothing to complain about really. So, so far I have no critiques. And the cards that I just showed were for player two. So now the orange ones are for player one and they look to be the exact same thing, except the characters are different. And it looks like we have some reference cards here, which is nice for player one and for player two. Yeah, so the cards are the exact same, except for the characters, which we have Freddy, we have Bonnie, that seems to be a new render, I'm pretty sure, which I love. 
Chica, and Foxy. Now for our final thing is I wanted to take a look at the board itself. You can see me in the reflection. That's cool. Alright, let's open it up. Okay, here we are. Now, how exactly do we open this without totally breaking it? Okay, so I don't think... Eh. Alright, there we go. Yeah, yeah, you got the whole thing. So, this side is for one player only, as you can see right here. It says one player. Now, the board itself, it's actually pretty simplistic, though I have no clue what this, what this building is, because clearly that is not a Freddy Fazbear's location. So, and look, this is Office U. So, as you can see, this L room right here is actually the Cam 1 hallway. Then you have Cam 2, Pirate Cove, right here, Cam 3, Dining Area, and Cam 4, the Show Stage. You got your clock up here, you have your office cards down here where you would put, I think your office cards, again, I don't really know how to play the game, it's kind of complicated. So, um, yeah, and you have the Freddy Fazbear logo right here, so that's going to be, actually playing it is going to be in a future video. And then this is two player, as you can see. Two player. You got the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza logo up top, then you have player one down here, player two down here, and then this is the office layout, or actually the building layout. The office is up here. You got cam one, the hallway. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Yeah, it is. Pirate Cove, uh, dining area, and then show stage down here. So it's the same layout. It's just now it's vertical because you have, you got two players. And that is going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to unbox it for this video and then in a future video I'll play it um, with myself and then maybe I can also find a two player, a two player, a second two player um, to play it with me. So that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Smash like, subscribe so you do not miss the video where I play it and I'll see you all on the flip side. Cool. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.